Hello everyone, I'm Human Hard Drive, and today I'm very excited to share with you something that I've opened up several weeks ago and shamedly put in the back in the box so I can make it look like I'm opening it for the first time. So this is something I've waited for the past three months for. I ordered this back in uh, March, and it only came at the end of June, and since then I've been playing around with it. So no points if you can guess what it is, because it's written quite clearly on the box. Um, so I'll just go ahead and open the box up there we go uh, so what we have here is a Raspberry Pi model B board and again this is one of the best 35 bucks plus shipping plus tax I've ever spent uh, if you're not familiar with what this is there is a movement however brief to create these things called stick computers and they're very tiny computers that you would just be able to plug into your computer reprogram and then stop uh, stick into a monitor to have it run stuff so it's different than say an Arduino in that this is an actual processor this is a computer basically so what we have here is that board um, it's powered by and I'm looking at the sheet now it's powered by a Broadcom BCM2835, which at its heart is an ARM11 processor running at 700 megahertz. So it's not as powerful or as fast as an ARM9, but for uh, per cost, it's pretty good. The graph, uh, I'll get to that in a minute. Peripherals is just, well, it's everything a comp uh, you'd need for a computer. You've got Ethernet for networking, two USB ports, you've got audio out which is in beta they're still working on it you even have RCA out if you haven't made the move to HDMI there's even HDMI a uh, couple ribbon connectors uh, there's some headers here and they even have expandable GPIOs so you can program these these are actually function as output ports uh, while I'm talking about the output ports these are CMOS logic that's 3.3 volt unipolar logic high as opposed to the Arduino's TTL which is 5 volt logic high. These pins are not 5 volt tolerant, or rather they are for a very short time. So it's you're going to have to think about connecting these if you want to use an Arduino or you're going to have to use a different microcontroller like say uh, a Netduino which is CMOS logic. So just something to think about if you're going to be using this with a microcontroller or you could use a logic level converter. Uh, so yeah, like I said, this is a computer. And I'm going to be doing some tutorials on setting this up, some of the cool things you can do with it. Uh, so to use this thing, you're going to need, obviously, to hook it up to some sort of monitor. You're going to need uh, either an HDMI port uh, cable or an RCA cable. Uh, all I've got is my television screen, but that won't be an issue later on. Uh, and an HDMI-ready monitor or uh, a television. So all I've got is my television, which takes an RCA input. Storage-wise, it takes one of these. It, there's an SD card whoops, slot on the bottom. That sli uh, slips right in there. Um, I'm actually using the adapter. This is the card I'm using. You want at least 4 gigs of space. I got this at Radio Shack. It's an 8 gig card. The, you really start to fill up space rather quickly. But you want that space if you're going to be downloading APTs and stuff. Um, so, I mean, that's really it with this board. It's just surprising just the amount of stuff you can do with this and what I'm going to be showing you how to do. And the first thing we're probably going to do is set up Quake to run on this. If you haven't played Quake, it's a first person. It's considered to be the first real multiplayer online first person shooter. So we'll probably get that set up running first. Oh, power. Got to mention power. Power is probably pretty important. It's running on a micro USB power supply. Um, for my laptop, I like to give it a, a, a keyboard, a uh, USB keyboard, so I can work at a desk. I was using an Apple II, what was I using? It was like an Apple 2400 series um, keyboard with a power, with um, external USB slots so I could plug things into it. And if you don't feed enough power into this, this won't work, and the peripherals won't work. So you're going to want at least an amp power supply for this. I'm running it off my Xbox. And you're going to want to actually shop for peripherals which don't eat up that much 
power. Uh, I've got a really power efficient keyboard, which you'll also probably want. And we're not going to need a mouse for a while. So, But I mean, that's it for the Raspberry Pi. Uh, if you haven't checked these out, definitely check it out. I'll put a link to their site in the description. Again, 35 bucks, you can't go wrong. Um, there is a bit of a wait. Like I said, I waited three months for this. But uh, I think in September they're going to start to get into steady supply through uh, Newark and RS. So this has been Human Hard Drive. Thanks for watching.